All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do another smoke test today. This time with this uh, new smoker I picked up off of Amazon uh, smoke gun. Uh, came with just a uh, little bit of wood chips. I got some more on the way to supplement. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take a whiskey and we're going to try, try out testing smoking this whiskey in three different ways. We're going to test it with uh, smoking on the glass, which means just covered up in a thing, which you might see done at certain restaurants. Smoking in the glass, which will be through a cover, holding the top down and smoking directly into the glass. And then what we'll just call the, uh, the I don't know, the smoke and shake method, where we put the smoke in the decanter with the whiskey. And that means the whiskey is going to absorb the, the smoke in the decanter and also pour through it uh, when it pours into the glass. The whiskey uh, will pour with the smoke. And you can also shake it a bit because it's in a decanter, which technically should pick up more smoke, we believe, right? So we're going to try the three different methods, directly on the glass, in the decanter for a shake and smoke, or just kind of on the glass in the globe and see how the different one tastes. So to do this, we've got our smoker, we've got our chips, we've got a, uh, a high-end uh, cigar lighter, which has got a butane torch with four like torches on it, which are pretty cool. And we're going to do even amounts of whiskey, so we'll just do like an ounce and a half in each glass or each location. So I'm going to... Get these going. I'll fast forward this. And this TX whiskey is just phenomenal in its own right. It's so caramely and yummy. I love this whiskey. Uh, so that'll be our on the glass one. This next one will be our in the glass one. And if you're in a bar in Utah, about an ounce and a half, I think, is all you get anyway, even if you want more. And then the last one will be in the decanter. Keeping all things equal so that our experiment is like awesome. Okay, I'm a little bit under an ounce and a half because I'm not trying to pour it over in front of you and waste my whiskey. All right, so a little bit in, the, in there. Boy, I should go two shots with these things. All right, so we got our three of them. Um, let's get our under the globe here one going. I've got one hand to do this, so it's a little bit unwieldy, but there we go. And there's about... I would say a half inch of room over the top of the glass from the top of that globe. I put it on a big tray so it'd be flat against that. So we'll start with that. And I believe with this, you just, you torch it and you turn on the fan first. Level one, level two. And it's just sucking air right down through the chips out the tube. So as soon as you torch it, it's just gonna suck that smoke right over into our deal over here and probably set off my smoke alarm, which is gonna be a lot of fun. See that? The thing is totally smoked. Boom. Woo! Yeah, because it's not sealed down super good. But that thing is super smoky. We'll pop over to the in-glass one. And this little cool thing here just pokes right through there. Actually, we better do the decanter first because I'm not going to pull out of there out of there with one hand. Um, so we'll push some down into here. And I'm just going to have to do the best I can with this. There it goes, it's filling that decanter up. Really, really quick and easy. That is full. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. if you don't turn that fan off, it's gonna go all over your room. Oh man, I'm hoping my alarm doesn't go off here. I'm gonna pause this movie for one. All right, you had to open the door, let some air in. And last but not least, we're gonna go directly into the glass. Just turn this uh, sucker on here. Give a little more smoke. Doesn't take much at all. And that thing just, boom, you can see it's loaded. Pause again. Okay, so we're done. Uh, we got the smoke sitting in the glass, the smoke sitting on the glass, the smoke sitting in the decanter. Um, the glass, which it should, the on the glass ones had a little longer because uh, it needs to soak in through there. But I think you would think, you know, just from science here, that you can see the smoke is heavier and settles down toward the table. So if it's heavier, my assumption is it's going to settle down toward the bottom of this globe. It's not going to get it. It's not going to get up into the glass. Uh, the same amount in the same way, which is, is what I've seen done at restaurants when it's been kind of, my drink has been kind of smoked for me in a, in a globe and presented that way. And you pull the globe off and the smoke comes out and it's all fun uh, experience, but the smoke's not really getting into the drink and I don't taste it the way I would have expected. Uh, this one's directly in the glass. I would expect that to pick it up really well as it settles. And this one, I would expect to be close to that or even better because you're going to pour through that smoke and we are going to, uh, 
like legitimately shake it and make that smoke soak into the, the whiskey as best we can. Uh, the smoke is we've will should kind of heavy and pour out into the glass when we pour it too. All right, we'll uh, let these settle for a second. Step back with you in a second. All right, we've let these settle in for, I don't know, a good minute now. Um, I don't know how long a bar would do it or whatever, but that should be plenty to get what you need. So we'll start with um, we'll start with the globe one. There's really no way to get around this, but to just pull it off, maybe even slowly swirl a little, little bit to get as much smoke in there as you can. And then uh, gonna blow it toward the door a little bit. There we go. That's gonna be yummy. All right, so here. Mm. Now, it, the smoke is definitely coming out of the glass a little bit. So you gotta, if you wanna really taste test this, you need to know the difference between the smoky whiskey versus just smoke getting in your nose and affecting your palate. So blowing this a little more. It's, it is pretty smoky though. Um, and also my mouth on the glass is picking up some of the smoke that's on the glass, not the whiskey itself. Ooh, that did get in there pretty good. It's not bad at all. That's, that's smoky. So can't discount that method as far as maybe the amount of smoke I put in there and how long I let it sit. I don't know. This, uh, who ended up way smokier than the last time I had this done for me at a restaurant. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna pause and rinse and get a clean, clean palate for the next one. All right, we're gonna move on to cup number two here. This is the smoked in the glass. <sighs> Same thing, gonna blow the glass out a little bit <sighs> so that I'm not getting an artificial smell in my nose. <sighs> All right, and we're Oh, wow, that's got a lot of smoke. Um, way more than the first one, and that's gotta be because it was right in it, and it kind of got it a little bit longer because we were paused here getting some water, but, well, I guess the first one started first, though, so that makes up for it and equalizes it. Wow, that was a lot of smoke. That's maybe too much smoke. So if you're if you're doing it in the glass and you, you can turn that fan on first on the smoker, um, you're gonna wanna just get a quick little shot in there and let it sit, because as much as I did, woo! In fact, I can even see, let me see, on the surface of the, maybe you can't see it, on the surface of the whiskey, I could even see a little bit of residue from in there. So in the glass definitely works better, um, but it's working so much with that much smoke that it's like uh, the whiskey's gone and it's all smoky. Woo, that's awesome. <laughs> but that's, okay. So then we're gonna go back to number three. I'm gonna get some water uh, in my mouth here. Okay, and we're gonna do this one. So rinse around, you see the smoke is settled on that one, it's probably all in the drink at this point. And you can see the smoke settling down out of there into the glass, that's kind of cool from a presentation perspective. That's a lot of fun, right? Look at that, how cool is that? Get some cool jar or something that pumps it out into a stream or little bubbles or rings, that would be fun. Find out some ring method. <laughs> that would be cool. Like blowing smoke rings into their glass. Okay. Um, same thing, we're gonna blow this off a little bit. <sighs> Woo! All right, here goes. Oh, I spilled a little bit. Why oh, I was spinning it around. Whew! Well, that is coming out. Oh my gosh. That hit my nose. Whew! That is strong. Oh man, <laughs> of the three, that's definitely the strongest, uh, the smoke. Um, wow, so same thing, the amount of smoke that went into that jar uh, versus the amount of whiskey, because remember we only did like an ounce and a half shot. So um, I think if you had like a three ounce pour or something like that, this would be a little bit better. If you're gonna do just a shot, um, be careful with how much smoke you put in there. It's really smoky, it works really well. But to the point of our experiment, of the three glasses, um, the uh, the just like you would expect, the amount of smoke went up with each method. Um, on the glass, in the glass, in the decanter, uh, most smoke, great smoke, 
uh, light smoke. Again, it was totally tasteful. It made a difference. Don't get me wrong. You could actually pick it up on that one. Again, I don't know if it was the amount I did or how long it sat or whatever, but it was definitely uh, at the right balance in this one. This one, I uh, need either more whiskey or to let less smoke in it or let it sit less long, and I would get the same thing. And this one could work also, but again, more whiskey, lighter smoke, um, and it will work too, depending on how much smokiness you want. You kind of got the idea now how you can approach it and how much. Uh, those sat for about, again, a minute before we, we opened them up. So, uh, and actually this one sat longer while we were tasting the first one. So keep that in mind too, uh, the amount of time and all that. But this method uh, definitely got the most smoke in. So approach it the way you want. That's the, the results from our experiment. Again, this gun was pretty cheap. I, I think it was 30 bucks on Amazon with a little bit of, of uh, chips and stuff. Um, and I've got some more chips on the way that are that size. I think they call them uh, wood, uh, not shavings, but wood something. It's just micro wood or something. Anyway, uh, you don't want the big chips you typically put in your smoker. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.